Hello everyone. We are the students of University Institute of Architecture. In this video, we are going to show you how a diagrid structure is built with the help of our own design. So, first of all, what is diagrid structure? Diagrid is basically a framework formed by intersection of diagonal members. This framework carry both lateral actions and vertical loads, hence eliminating the use of long vertical columns. Now coming up to our site. The site is in Gujarat and is located on the banks of South Mati River. Approximately 11 kilometers away in the north is Gandhinagar and 12 kilometers in the south is Ahmedabad. We have taken an oval shaped plan which is best suitable for a site, provides the most perimeter in creating a well protected outdoor public spaces and having a good environment in workplaces. So the basic form of our structure in which we have placed an oval shaped plan extruded vertically creating a single component which is giving a maximum desirable views in workspaces. So this component is covered with a glass of 6 stories of same dimensions that requires the use of less material and reducing the stress in the structure. So this whole structure is drawn into the steel diagrid frame. This is a typical floor plan of this structure. Total footprint of the structure is 3350 square meters. In the center is the service core which covers 567 square meters of area. The workspace covers 1675 square meters and the recreational space covers 1108 square meters. So here we have the section which depicts the each floor height is 3800 mm, every 6th floor height is 22800 mm and the total height of the structure is 136800 mm. Coming to the substructure, pile foundation is being provided for both the columns. Foundation detail of I section steel column used for the core is on left and foundation detail of hollow structural steel column used for diagrid framing is on right. Friction gum and bearing pile foundation being used where single pile with 25 meters of depth and 750 mm of diameters. The vertical reinforcement bars of 16 mm diameters and the horizontal ties of 12 mm diameters are being provided. The construction process of the superstructure. Starting with the core of the structure with jump formwork and then continuing the construction of the exterior framework with diagrid columns and the floor slabs by using slip formwork and then finally finishing the structure with facade treatment and curtain walls. In the superstructure part, we have taken a composite decking which serve as a tensile reinforcement concrete slab which is bonded with the imposed rip patterns and it can be achieved by welding shear studs between the concrete slab and the floor beams. So this deck is served as a structural diaphragm and transfer the lateral loads to the shear wall. The entire perimeters must be welded or bolted to the steel supports. In the elevation, the facade of the structure is provided with diagrid frame columns and curtain walls. The curtain walls with aluminium frame consist of vertical mulliams and transoms holding both the glass panels with ceiling strips leaving 50 mm air space. The interior stained glass panels 
of 8 mm and the exterior cool bending reflective glass panels of 16 mm are provided. This is a jointed detail of the diagonal structure which is a frame of the outer facade of a building. The diagonal tube member 600 mm dia has been bolted to cap plate of 40 mm thick which is bolted to knot drip and further the knot drip is bolted to horizontal member. The diagonal members in diagonal structure act both as inclined columns and as bracing element and due to their triangular configuration mainly internal forces are as in the member.